Hi guys, it's Sam. And it's Lola. And this is Blooming to Beauty. Cheers. Hey! Another Friday for us. Mm -hmm. So good. So we do want to apologize for not having a video up on Tuesday. We know we try to stay on a regular schedule, um, but we just had a lot going on. <laughs> I have like tons of stuff on my face. I don't know what's going on. Hairs everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. It's a cat. It's a it's cat. A cat. <laughs> so yeah, we had a lot going on and we weren't able to post a video or we didn't have enough time to record a video. We had a busy weekend. So we're but, here though. It's but Friday. why were we busy? Why were we so busy? I don't know. Well, let's look over here. Um, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with this bracelet I have here. Where did we go? We went to I. Yay! So this was our very first IMADS. We've never been to IMADS before, so we're both really, really excited. Super excited. And um, we got a couple of goodies to show you. We, did. we definitely want to tell you really quickly about our IMADS experience. You know, how was it for us? We did go on Sunday. Um, and I don't think it was that bad. It wasn't so bad. Like, there was so. a lot of people, granted, because who doesn't love makeup? But right. it wasn't anything ridiculous. I think the, the craziest line was Morphe. Morphe. We were standing in line for over an hour. Yeah. But other than that, it was pretty smooth sailing. We will tell you some of the deals that we saw. Um, I will say that we didn't go to all booth because we did have to control ourselves. Sure. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, so we'll tell you about our experience. But I'm really excited. Yes. So one of the things that we we did, uh, we always wanted to go. I think two years, in two years past, two mm -hmm. for two years, Sa um, Sammy and I have been wanting to go to IMAX. But this is one of those things that we're like, ah, we'll, we'll go next year. Yeah. Ah, we'll go next year. Yeah, but and it's funny because yeah. IMAX so happens to fall around Lorena's husband's yes, birthday. Correct. So it's kind of like, um, are you free? Are you not free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always been like something that we didn't really push. But this year we're like, let's just go. Let's just go all out. We're in this adventure for makeup anyway. So yeah. let's just experience, you know? Yeah, and on top of that, in the past, the tickets sold out really fast. That's true. Um, I will say, I think because youtubers went a lot more and this is the one in new york granted because we live in new jersey mm -hmm. um i think new, um youtubers weren't having that great of an experience at the one in new york because they were either being kicked out or not letting you know they weren't able to interact with their subscribers as much so that became a hassle for them but i feel like because a lot of youtubers yeah. used to go it was even crazier before and so that's why it sold out so quickly yeah. So yeah. we didn't have that problem. We did go on Sunday, like I said, and it was really nice, really calm. I mean, look at these bags. I know, I know. And they're pretty. So pretty. Everybody was asking us about this Yeah, bag. once we had this bag, they're like, where's Ellie girl? Where's Ellie girl? And honestly, like, we got lucky because I, I saw some other girl with a bag and it wasn't with not the, as It was cute. not that bad. But we actually had gotten this at Ricky's. Um, I don't know if Ricky's is like a know. world wide store i know i've seen a few of them in new york um uh, but i don't think i've seen any in like new jersey or anything but i know they do carry products like morphe and la girl and stuff so they actually stole la girl and gave us this bag um so yeah we're gonna go over some products i think this was the first spot we hit right? yes it was because it was right next to murphy and that was like the that was, so we had a list of four stores that we really really wanted to yeah go. We did want to explore maybe a little bit more than what we did, but there was like a few things I wanted to do. We wanted to go to Murphy, yeah. we wanted to go to Mac. Mac, we wanted to go to, we didn't want to go to Hourglass. Hourglass was just kind of like yeah. there. Yeah. And we ended up We wanted to go to Juvia's place, but Juvia's, Juvia's place, place wasn't there. there. I heard, I read previously online that they were, so I was mm -hmm. very excited. I was like, I'm saving money, I want to get some stuff from there. They were nowhere to be found. Yeah. Um, we wanted to go to Anastasia, but the line was a little long, so we yeah. upped it out and we went to Hourglass, Instead, which, you which guys was great know. for us. Great well, for we'll us. let you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so the first store we did hit up was LA Girl. Uh, not LA Girl. What am I talking about? I Ricky's. just went over the fact that mm -hmm. LA Girl was Bustin not there. there, which is crazy because I feel like brands like that. And I granted, yes, they're drugstore. But Morphe, even though it's not a drugstore store, it's like drugstore prices. Like, it's yeah. super, super affordable. So, like, why yeah. not have a booth? I agree. And I will say stores like Ricky's, they also carried, 
which I was on. I'm not gonna lie. I was really tempted to get it, but it was. It took a lot of self control, and I was looking at it. And then she started swatching it. She tried to kill me, but I know. But thank God that didn't happen. Um, but it's the Queen of Hearts palette we by Colored Rain. They had it. They had it. And I will say at Ricky's, their percentage was 25% off it of everything. Really it was really good. It was 25% off of everything. Um, what did we get? So what did we get? Um, so I got one pair of lashes. Um, I'm, like we've said, I mean, I'm, we're not really lashes girls, but I want to experience every so often, especially when they're inexpensive. So these lashes are by Ardell, and they're the Wispies Black. Um, these were $3.99, and I got 25% off, so I was like, why not? You know, and then we both got well, let's cheers it up with them Bleep. LA Girl foundation so that we can test these bad boys out. Yes, they have a pump, they're Who's fabulous. The yeah, so along with that, I did go ahead and grab an LA Girl um, concealer, bar, both in a light shade and a dark shade for contour and, and highlight. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. You got something else from yes, LA Girl? Yes, I got from LA Girl. I did end up getting their lip paints. I heard amazing things about them. So I got colors that I know I would use on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And I mean, gorgeous. it's so beautiful. And so far, I really like them. Um, I did wear them. You're gonna have to get it later. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, look. Look at that. Look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? And that's in what shade? This one is nude or yeah, I don't think this is nude. No. Lewd? Lewd. A lewd. A lewd. A lewd. Beautiful shade. And then the other one that I got is in Peony. This is just pretty self-explanatory. Um, and I like them both. Oh, that one reminds me of your top a little right? bit. Look. Your top is just a little Look. more orangey. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so far I've only worn a nude, yes, mm -hmm. um, and I've liked it very much, um, so yeah, I mean, nothing, it's pretty good. Yeah, like and it. the last thing we went ahead and got, which first of all, let me tell you something. <coughs> oh. You guys have been holding out, YouTubers have been holding out. On us. Everyone has been holding out. I, we just don't get it. Because I've understand. heard of the brand Pinky Rose, and honestly, I've only heard about it through one YouTuber, who's Jenny69. And But the only thing I've heard her talk about is like their foundation, and I think lip gloss. Um, but we got to the counter, and I saw these glitters. I didn't know if they were eyeliners or if they were, you know, like steel wands. Show it, Lore. Oh, not the right thing. Not I'm the grabbing. right thing. But let, let us tell you, oh in the little Ricky's booth, because it was a small booth, it was kind of like on the side. Yeah. And Sam and I, after we started swatching, we were like, hold up. Why are they on the side? Why? Yeah. We need to tell everybody. So look. Look at this beautiful. This is beautiful. the Pinky Rose Glitter Wand in Pisces. It is the shade that I'm wearing on my lids right now. So check it out. Check it out. I do believe this one was about $14 with 25% off or between $14 or $16 with 25% off. But hello, why didn't nobody tell me? No one told and us And they have anything. beautiful shades. Like I said, we had to practice self-control because we did. there was a lot. A lot but we ended shades. up going with this because this was our favorite. Yeah. I will say, if you follow us on our Instagram, you will see I entered a picture, well, a little boomerang of the swatches that I had on my hand. I wanted to walk around all day with it. Yes. It was like... Until uh, everyone. Like, look, well, guys, go get it, you know? Go get it. It was so beautiful. But I've absolutely never heard anybody talk about never. this. Never. And so when I swatched it, I was like... Why? 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 But it's on and my And they eye. had it on their side. Like, it wasn't, like, in the middle. Yeah. Nobody was talking it out. We were like... Can you... Yep. Anyway, so we're happy. We're getting every shade. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Eventually. Yep. But yeah, um, that was, I think for me, one of the biggest like surprises just mm -hmm. because I never heard of their glitter wands. And once I swatched it, it was like magic, which is magic. why I'm wearing it. I just magic. didn't get enough. It was magic. Mm -hmm. magic. So that's it for Ricky's round one. Mm -hmm. So then right next to the Ricky booth, it was Morphe. And now that line was crazy. Yeah, so once we saw it, it was like, should we go online? Should we not go online? And I'm like, listen, I feel like Morphe is one of those booths that 
is gonna stay long all yeah. day. And like yeah. it the it started at ten? Did it start at ten? Yeah, yeah, it started at ten. Okay. It opened up at ten. We got there like at eleven ish. Yeah. Maybe a little after okay. eleven. And they close at five. So I was like, this is this is open till five. Like it's gonna stay full for a while. So we're we might as well get might online now. So we did. Um and we got some goodies from yes, we did. Nothing crazy. I Nothing do crazy. I don't know what their percentage was. I don't know. I know what my prices were for lip liners yeah. that I purchased and for the concealer that I purchased. And yeah, then I, don't know. Had... I don't think they had a percentage. I yeah. think they just like reduced the price of yeah. everything. So a lot of the brushes were like $2. I, I did not buy a brush that was more than $6. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, me neither. I think that was the most. Um, so I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to go one by one because we don't have time for that. But I will say that I purchased these five brushes. Oh, I think because I found up there. I don't know. I guess she didn't like uh, her brushes. I don't have my brushes. <laughs> Yeah, the black one is the highlighting one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I realize that now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go. So I purchased these five brushes. Like I said, I didn't spend over five bucks for any of them. Um, but they just look really cute and really nice. Mm -hmm. There was like one where I was like looking at it, looking yeah. at it, and then I just like quickly threw it in my bag. Yeah, and I'm sure. like, yeah, I'm just get it. Um, I'm just get it. So I got a few brushes because I do have Real Technique brushes. I have some brushes from the drugstore, from like Wet and Wild, and um, Sandra Cash Cashuk. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I never had Murphy brushes, so I had Sammy right here. She's Sonia like Sammy. Sonia. Yeah. Did I say Sammy? Sandra. Sandra Cashuk. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay, I need to stop yeah. with the drink. Uh, so I was like, Sammy, quick, pick some gr brushes for me that I really need to have. So I'm very excited for these. Really excited for the blush brush because I'm sure you've seen my other videos. I have this brush from Rare Techniques. It covers just, your whole face. Just, but it covers my whole face. So I'm like, I don't need blush everywhere. So this one should be pretty good. Yeah. Um, recommendations by Sammy. So we'll keep you guys posted. So other than that, we both got a concealer. The concealer were $4, so I don't know how much they are on the site, but I'm sure you can go on the site and check out the price. If it's a little more than $4, then we did get a percentage off. If not, then it yeah. was $4, but we were yeah. okay with that. It was fun. Mine was in the shade Oats. I got Bare Skin. It's pretty good. And but then, last but not least, I got lip liners. Can you tell I'm a nudes gal? We got Can lip you? Liners. We Can got you tell I'm a nudes gal? I don't know. So the lip liners were two dollars a piece, which I thought was really great. I don't know how much their lip liners cost. I didn't even know they had lip liners, to be quite frank. But I got these three shades. I got makeup talk, coffee, and kissy, and backseat love. Yeah. Those were the three I got. So I got four because they were just so nice. And I, of course, got one that Sammy had. We were in line. We were no. about to pay. And I kept looking at her at her basket. And I'm like, right before I went to pay, I told one can of them, can I get this, this thing? Because I just can't. Like, I can't. It's $2. So I might as well just get them. And let me tell you, they're so smooth. We switched mm -hmm. all of them mm -hmm. at the booth. They were really And smooth. they were so smooth. I was so impressed. Rest. Which I love because that was one thing I know we when we went to Hourglass they had lip liners too and I swatched them and they not, were not, not as smooth. smooth. Yeah, so it was it was crazy. So anyway, so we, I got four shades. I got mini, I got backseat love, coffee and kissy, and bubble. So I'm there really excited go. for these. Um yeah, super smooth. Yeah. So then we went to Mac. Yeah. Let's talk about that experience. And I'll show you what they gave me because I do have it here in the back. But this is what they gave us. It looks really cute. It does. We open the booklet. You see there are products. Six products here. There's about seven on this side. And then there's about five on the back side. Now they are lipsticks and stuff, so obviously it tells you the different shades. But that's it. That's right. That's all they have. So we were like super excited. I've been wanting to buy a couple of things. And so mind you, to you buy go there and things. they're like 30% off of Mac. 30% off of Mac. I know. 
we were like, oh, we're going in. Yep. We're going home. So we were kind of like going everywhere else and kind of like not shopping as much because we're like, we really want to go to Mac. Mm -hmm. And now, no offense to Mac, obviously, they did have a good setup. You yeah. know, they had a model there. It was nice. It was a nice setup. The people were nice. But they had one table they full of the products that we could look at and decide if we wanted. Just one tiny. That's it. Little now thing. I was really looking to try out a concealer that I had seen that was really good and maybe get some blushes because Mac does have really good like blushes bronzer but they didn't have they didn't that. have it so they did not have their full collections mm -hmm. of anything so that was a little disappointing I think we got a little disappointed there because yeah. we we're like we were ready we were excited to swatch things to try things I was ready to be like go buy lipsticks mm -hmm. but they didn't have the whole range yeah and it's like you know, so we, we got a little turned off by that. And like I said, it was a small table. And there was a lot of, a lot of people. That's how I felt about yeah, it. Yeah, we were very upset. So after this appointment, we're like, okay, well, right now we don't really have a brand that we really, really yeah. wanted to go to. So, we well, did. first we went to Anastasia real quick. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, there was a line. There was a line, and I and just wanted one thing. Yeah, she just wanted one thing. I didn't want anything. Um, I feel like going on the line, I would have been tempted to get stuff. Yeah, but yeah honestly, yeah, yeah. there wasn't anything that I wanted. Correct. Um, but on top of that, like we already had waited over an hour on the Morphe line. We were, we were kind of done. Pooped. We were hungry. Yeah, we were done. We were like, okay. Um, so I was telling Lore that Sephora was having their. Um, spring kind of sale, VIB, VIB Rouge sale, and they have 15% off now. Um, and I purchased a foundation. So I purchased an hourglass foundation. So I saw the hourglass booth and I was like, well, let me just go and see what their deal is because well, what no, it is. Well, no, actually, you wanted to know the shade. Yeah, I wanted, wanted to, know to know the shade because I was the right like, shade. yeah, I was like, I think the shade I ordered was too light. So let me look at the shades. And then we walked around and then I was like, you know what? Let me see what their percentage is because if it's more than Sephora, I might have to buy my shade there and return the one I got from Sephora because mm -hmm. the one I got from Sephora I ordered and I still didn't even have it. So and I wasn't was sure like, if it was her match at Yeah, all. so I was like, okay, so let's go there and see what their deal is. First of all, this was Hourglass's first time there because I know somebody was asking them. Off of their foundation, they had 30% off. 30. 30. Two, double what sephora had mm. so i was like oh no <laughs> automatically returning my sephora one yeah because i need 30 percent off that's not right. 15. that's right um on top of that i did get the wrong shade so they did help me get another shade i think this they one matched her yeah they matched me this one that's is nice. in warm beige i did have bronzer and stuff on so it might be like a hair dark but i feel like foundations like this when you put concealer and stuff you good to go. And on top of that, you know, summertime is almost here. So. That's true. But I did get their foundation 30% off. I picked one up for me and my mom because. Oh, yeah. You've got. You, yeah. you already know. And um, so we weren't ready, I feel, though, because we, we were weren't. very excited. We didn't think we were going to go there. Yeah. No, like that was definitely not in our list. So finding that they did such a great. I don't know, like such a great percentage to their customers. We were very really upset because they didn't have that many people. They didn't have a line of people. Really and yes, good. granted, they're, they're, you know, more of the higher end, a yeah. little more expensive. But it's IMAX. And you're granted to have some type of percentage discount, yeah. right? And nobody was there. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, but we, I did end, end up finding something. We yeah. both got um, the Hourglass Fem Nude Lip Stylo. Oh, my God. So, it is a lipstick. And you got yours in what, one? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, number one, and, Femme Nude. And I got mine in four. Yeah. No, Femme no. Nude two. Femme yeah. Nude two. So you got number two. I, no, I got number four. You got number four? Oh, really? It's just yeah. Femme Nude? Everybody's yeah. Femme Nude? Everybody. Just number one? It's just by the numbers, yeah. Right. So That's it looks like original. this. First of all, this is classy, okay? Very classy. I'm going everywhere with this. You open <laughs> it and look at it. It's so cute. It's so cute. So I swatch it here for you guys. Switch my notes this here. is for granted we are different shades but this is four and that's one yes 
Mm -mm. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So for these Sorry. particular lipsticks, they had 50% 50 off. 50% off. 50 off. So oh this came out to $16. 16 bucks, cheaper than the MAC that we were going to buy. So we were a I was like, yes, for Hourglass. Okay, it may not have been cheaper. I think the MAC no, was yeah. like $12.50. Yeah. And this was $16. But it's kind of like Hourglass for $16. From $32 or MAC. to $16. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. And it's then on top of that, they gave you this And then they gave us a little sponge for I mean, free. I don't know if I would yeah. use it. At least not like an actual... Like, I use it for something, but... It's a little firm. It's cute. But it's so cute. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Just stand it up. It's a free gift, and I like free gifts. And it's from Hourglass. You know? So we liked it. Yeah. Um, Final thoughts in terms of Hourglass. Um, Sam and I were like, okay, that's it. Next year, Next year we're coming we're again coming with a list. to buy Hourglass. Yeah. Because it's so much worth it. Like, I felt happy, obviously. I was like, yay, this is great. But it's kind of like... I didn't know what to buy. Like, it's kind of like, yes, I know they're great. I know I want stuff from them, but it's like... You didn't know what I didn't know what to get. So, I, it I, was we did not purchase anything It was such else. a great way to end IMAT. And granted, they had Kat Von D. Yeah. They had NYX. They had um, Lashes Galore. You yeah. know? They had so many more vendors. You know, they had things for tattoos. They had things for, for FX type of makeup yes. you know so they had all types of things and it was really great we had a great time yes. afterwards we went we got some chipotle yes, we sure did we were hungry the cherry on the top of our list. yeah but um and yeah and one thing that i did want to say and that we did talk about when we were there because you know the line of morphe was yeah. like three hours yeah um yeah. we just talked about life <laughs> um one of the things that we really love was how makeup comes in all types and shapes and size and everything because we just had, like fashion. Just like fashion, because everyone was like, you know, brought their A game. Um, they had like people that had like goth looking makeup, and they were super excited about buying goth looking makeup. And then they were that were like sugar pills, the so sugar they were pill. super colorful and glittery. And yeah, yeah. And then just the regular gals like us with our neutral faces. So I love that about makeup, and I, I think I love being exposed to that because it's like makeup can be. Anything you want it to be. I really can. Um, yeah, and it was great. I loved it. I love to see all of that. Every, all the I girls wear it. different things, glittering their, their um, lips. lips, and like stones everywhere. It was nice. It, it was, was nice, nice to see that. Yeah, so yeah. we had a great time. We had a great experience. We want to go next year and go yeah, prepared. Of course. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, definitely let us know. Were you at IMAPS? Did you get some goodies? Yeah, for sure. And know. comment down below, subscribe as always, and we'll keep you posted with updates on the stuff that we got, yes. stuff, how we liked it. Um, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy your Friday. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. And we're done. We're done. That's we're a done. wrap. We're done. That's a wrap. We're done.